hey guys welcome back to my channel today i've got an exciting guide for you i'll be walking you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up visa to seamlessly mirror or control your android device on your pc whether you are into presentation or app testing or just want a bigger screen experience this tutorial has you covered but here is the deal i want you on board for all tech adventures ahead so smash that subscribe button now ring the notification bell drop a like and let's dive in the first step is to download and install Visor on your PC. Fire up your favorite browser and head over to the official website www.visor.io and click on the download link. Then select your environment, in my case it's Windows operating system. Then the download will begin. Once the download is complete, click on the setup file to begin the installation. It's a straightforward process. For the first time installation, there might be a pop-up on the screen by Windows Defender. Make sure you allow to complete the installation. Then on the Viso window, I will click on ADB drivers to download the driver. Once the download is complete, I will open my download directory to install the driver. And I will just follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. Once that is done, the next thing is connecting your Android device. Let's go to our physical Android device and enable developer options on your phone settings. This may vary depending on the type of device. In my case, I'm using the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So in my phone settings, I will go to About Phone and click on the MIUI section seven times. I'm now a developer. Now I will go back to the main settings and find the additional settings menu. And inside the additional settings menu, I will find the developer options. Inside the developer options, I will enable USB debugging and as well install via USB. So I can have the Viso app installed on my device as soon as I connect to my PC. Now open the Viso app on your PC and connect your physical device to your PC via the USB cord. Then the pairing process will begin. Now I can click on the play icon to mirror and control my Android device. And here we go. Everything is successful and you are ready to mirror and control your Android device on your PC. Please, if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech content and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.